you were reacting to Muslim women who were talking about their experiences with polygamy. I kind of felt for them because they, they looked a bit fed up with it and they looked a bit mm. like, they're saying mm. it ain't the, the feeling I want of yeah. a man who wants more than one woman. Mm. They, they clearly they weren't loving it. And yeah. you kind of said, that's Islam. You know, like a little bit like, you know, if you, if you want to be a part of this religion, this is what yeah. we accept. And mm. it's not necessarily there to make you feel great all the time. Look, I mean, there's a difference between someone not wanting to do something, an Islamic practice, and someone despising it. So from our perspective, if someone is like, for instance, doesn't want to wake up in the morning and pray, these are all natural things. A woman does, most women don't want to be in polygamy. And that's natural, that's fine. Yeah. If, actually, if it's natural, then why do you think it's ended up the way it is with uh, Islam? There's no logical principle that says that if someone likes something, that thing is good. Islam attempts to solve communities and society's problems. In fact, if you even if you think about it from an economic perspective, think of it this way. Single motherhood is not just something which impacts families and children and uh, communities. We know that that's 100% the case according to almost all the data. It's actually something which impacts uh, people's the economy as well because yeah. a single mother costs the economy so much money mm -hmm. uh, welfare benefits and these kind of things that you have to she would otherwise not be being paid because the father would be putting money there. so if you look at the pros and cons uh, and add them all up the family pros and cons the economic pros and cons the social pros and cons the community pros and cons then there's an aggregated or an accumulative pros over the cons for example we're not, we're not saying that women shouldn't feel negative jealous don't want to in fact in our religion if a woman doesn't want to be in it she can put it in her contract in her marriage contract so you're not allowed to do it and she can stop it uh, there is flexibility but the, 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 the ruling itself if someone rejects it then they have to justify why they're rejecting it because something in the Quran you can, if you're a yeah. true Muslim you have to be faithful to the Quran they make it seem as if polygyny is something exclusive to Islam yeah. I mean let me open, be open with you was there a moment of time in your life where you wanted multiple uh, women in your life no, let's be honest. Come on, look me in the eye, please. Don't, don't turn around. <laughs> <laughs> the point I'm saying is this, though. It's not exclusive to Muslims. Every man, we're talking about men, yeah? yeah? You're a non-Muslim man, I'm a Muslim man. So the thing is, every ma man is polygamous by nature. What Islam does is send protocols to tell you how to do it in a proper way that you don't abuse the other wife. You know why? Because non not non-Muslim men, some Muslim men do this as well. They have side chicks, mistresses and girlfriends. So Islam says, no, if you're going to do it, you do it the right way. You want another woman, you honor her, you speak to her father. No, having, I'll get whatever I want and I'll chuck you to the side. No, no, no. You marry her, you honor her, you give her a wedding, you provide and protect for her. And I believe any woman in their right mind, if they're a feminist, they will be pro polygyny okay. all day, every day. Men are polygamous in, 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 in nature. By the nature, yeah. By that you mean men just want multiple yes, women. 100%. That's, 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 that's in our biology, you know. And women are hypergamous by nature. That's in their, that's I, in their I, blood. We don't believe that men and women are not equal in value. We just believe that equality in value does not mean identicality in roles. So we believe that men and women are spiritually equal there. In fact, the Quran actually explicitly mm. mentions that. I've had conversations like this with women before where I've tried to say like, look, I'm not saying we're not equal. Yeah. I'm saying we're different exactly. and our jigsaw pieces are bringing different things to the table 100%. here. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm the protector and, and you're the nurturer. I uh, watched a, a show once about a woman who was going through um, the change and she was becoming a, a man yeah. and she started taking testosterone yeah. and she said, and I, look, I'm taking her word for it, but she said in the, uh, uh, she said, my sense of direction has gone through the roof. My memory of where things are and driving in places, all of a sudden, wow. 10 times better. And there are some things that men can mm. do or have proven in driving when there is an equality of opportunity. Because Formula One, there's, no, there's a quality of opportunity. It doesn't matter what you are, does it? You can be a man or woman yeah. and you can have reactive ability, mm. uh, strength, physical strength, the ability to deal with uh, trauma, the, de the ability to deal with um, uh, emergency situations. I feel like you can, make an, you can make a biological case, a physiological case, psychological case that men, men are better than women or men are better in certain aspects. Men and women are twins. Where we're meant to work together in complement complementarity mm -hmm. with one another, then that brings about the best results. The example of uh, the firefighters in America, like so, they had this kind of obstacle course. I think it was in New York. When women went through the fire, the, the obstacle course, they didn't complete it as much, and therefore there was a major skew in the amount of men and women there are in the, in the fire force. So they made the time longer so that more women would be selected. If she, if someone was in a burning building, why should we uh, manipulate the variables in order to try and get a better outcome? Word and um, and so do put children and men, women and children yeah. ironically in people, danger. People like, will die. If we really took men and women's strengths and weaknesses seriously as a community society, we'd have better results.